the middle of the night and it's very dark outside, but with just one light, it's illuminating the entire tent. This is just amazing, gonna change some lives. You have to replace this continuously and you don't have money for it and also it's dangerous because yeah. it can burn your house sure. or your tent down. Yeah. Where the solar lamps are done by the sun. They're very excited about the light bulbs and we did bring some as examples today to show people how easy it is to use these alternative technologies and how affordable they can be and to bring the lights out there and see that immediate difference was incredible. All the people around are seeing how valuable that could become in their lives and I'm so proud to be part of bringing that. Going into the city last night in the dark was amazing. I knew that it was going to be dark but going through in the car with the headlights shining and showing how many people are just standing around in utter blackness all night and it gets dark early here that means starting at 5:30 until 5:30 the next morning they're just in utter blackness part of what i've come away with as american green international on this trip is that people here can't look to the future they don't have that luxury when every day it's just about that day it's just surviving and until we can help them help themselves. You can't take care of anything else. And they don't have time to necessarily research the technologies that we have and that we're bringing. We've got a present for you today. This is, uses the light from the sun. When the night comes, you just put it on so that it can um, light in the house, right? And she showed you this? Yes, yeah, she showed me how to. That's so amazing. Uh, and so when she saw the light at nighttime, was she excited? She excited about it. We're gonna save you 30 Haitian dollars every month with these. Because it saves you money, right? It's more efficient. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, and then you can spend more on this, this little girl, huh? Yeah, yeah, if you're not spending it on the battery, then you can spend it on her. Did that help you? This is where, put in. This is where Andrew Moss lives, and she works at New Life Orphanage. In Haiti, this is an upscale house. But as you can see, there is no electric. <laughs> no electric. Or water. Or water. Or toilets. Or toilets. But this was a school. We've seen a lot of suffering and a lot of hardship and a lot of pain. But we've also seen an equal amount of love and support and community that I think is unrivaled anywhere I've been. Big time. I got the 12 people, you know? 12 people in here? Very beautiful girls, yes. We know that you have lots of kids, you have lots of babies, you have kids that need to study, and we want to give you some solar light bulbs for your home. When we came here with the solar light bulbs, for instance, the people had never heard of anything like that before. The solar technology is being portable, simple light. At nighttime, when it's time for, for customers to come in order to, to see what's going on, in order to actually make the sale, they do it by these two kerosene lamps. This is how they see at night. And what we're going to do is try and help her save money um, and also be more efficient and their operations here by introducing solar powered light bulbs. Here we have the kerosene version. Now, if I were to drop this, this would probably cause us a lot of problems. It's going to fall on the little boy, it's going to catch fire to the rest of the, to, to the rest of their store here, and naturally, of course, it's going to run out. Um, and it's expensive. They're spending about $8 a month in kerosene just to light their store. Now, comparatively, these are safe. <laughs> You can stick it in your mouth if you're a toddler and uh, not likely to break. And the battery lasts two years. So for two years, you don't have to change anything except the battery. I'm very happy. Yeah. <laughs> How are you liking the bulbs? Are they helpful? It's really good for them. It's really helpful. It reduces the cost for them. What can they spend that money on that they're not using for light? Food and water. So they can spend that money they would have yeah. spent on light on their children for yeah. medicine, food, yeah. that sort of thing. You can see how beautiful it is. It's not easy painting. The other night we filmed the boys in the painting room. Before we even got there, they already had the ceiling lined with the solar light bulbs and it lit up the entire room so they could be together hanging out and painting. And before they did this once a month together and now because they have light at night, they have more opportunity to develop those skills and spend more time on their artwork. And it is beautiful. Light bulbs is very important for me just because you can use them at any time without gas, without any batteries, 
but you can just put them on the sun. It's only helping them improve the trades and diversify the trades they have to help their chances at succeeding in Haiti become real, which is very, very difficult here. The more you can diversify your trades and your talents, the better chance you have at making a difference as opposed to just getting by one day to the next. And that's what Haiti needs to make any progress. We just want to keep going on. We don't give up so that we can be the winner one day in life. It's interesting, look, look at the thought of how she's using it. Yeah. Very neat. Taking those into the villages and seeing how it can immediately improve someone's life so much. It's changing the lives of each individual person that gets involved. This is baby. She's a, this oh, the, is baby. A, She's a, you know, oh, she uh, takes very uh, precious care of it because yeah. that's what's so great about this. You'll yeah. always have light. I'm really excited about what's developing. Everyone's pretty excited.